those super cool Pixel Pal characters. Oh, so cool and pixely. <laughs> and the best part about today's episode is we'll be reviewing Pixel Pals that are coming out for another month or so. Oh, 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 cool. Yep, that's why I'm Steve. So let's get started. All right, so for those of you keeping track, we've been reviewing quite a lot of these in the last couple of months because they're super cool. And not only do they look cool, but there's so many popular characters to choose from, it makes it so hard to pick a favorite. And the best part about these is that they all glow in the dark. Oh, super cool. Oh, I just love it. And who knew Batman could glow in the dark? Huh, <laughs> that's nothing. Even my underwear glows in the dark. Ha ha ha. gross, Batman. TMI. Now, the unique thing about all these Pixel Pals is that each one come individually numbered, starting from number one, and we've pretty much reviewed all the way up to number 15. And out of the first seven Pixel Pals, we have some Mario Brothers, some Mega Mans, and Vault Boys. After that, we got Link from The Legend of Zelda, which was number eight. We've got Mario Luigi, which was number nine and 10. And of course, the Pixel Pal of Luigi is pretty much the same thing, only different colors. And of course, these guys are best of brothers until you put a Starman in between the two of them. Heh <laughs> Hey, that Starman is mine! I don't think so. Ooh, looks like there's a fight gonna be breaking out. And if there is, you better invite Ryu because he's from the Street Fighter video game. And then we start getting Street Fighter characters of Chun-Li and Ryu, which was 11 and 12. And then next we got Batman characters, which made up number 13, 14, and 15. Oh wow, a Batman Pixel Pal? That's just, uh, awesome! That's right, Lego Batman, it's awesome! And what's really cool about this Batman figure is that they didn't use the character sprite from the old Batman video game like they've done with the other past Pixel Pal characters. Instead, they use an all new image to use for this Batman figure. Batman never looks so cool in pixel form. Ugh, time to fight some crime. All right, Joker, take that. Boom! And as for you, Harley Quinn, stop clowning around. <laughs> and of course, that's where we left off. And now we can pick up with Pixel Pal number 16, Ken from the Street Fighter game. Oh, cool. Just gotta like that old Ken. Wow, he flew right out of the package. Uh, gee, Ken, you really know how to make an entrance. <laughs> uh, thank you. Oh, come on, Ken, get up. We've got a review to do. All right, so here we have the pixelated figure of Ken. Oh, boy, and he looks super cool because he's from the old video game of Street Fighter. <laughs> yep, he's ready for some street fighting, and he looks really cool, too. He comes complete with his yellow hair and red outfit. Oh, neat. If we compare old Ken here to his image, we see that they did a really good job on his pixelated form. Looks just like him. Yeah, that's right. Ah, I'm cool. And of course, Ken here's gonna need an opponent to fight against. And that leaves us with Akuma. Oh, sweet. This is probably one of the coolest Pixel Pal characters in the entire line. And I say that because he's just so darn colorful. Wow, he's got reds, pinks, blues, and that's in addition to his skin color. And of course, if we look at the back of this guy's box, we see how well he did with his pixelated character. Huh, looks like he's ready to fight. He's got the raging hair, the raging eyeballs. Huh. Look out, Ken, he's ready to kick your butt. <laughs> Boy, Akuma looks so cool. I can't wait to put batteries in this guy and see what he looks like all lit up. All right, put a battery here and put a battery there. Doo -doo -doo, and uh, turn them on. And voila, we have our light up Akuma. Yeah, boy, this guy can light up any room with that pose. And if we put batteries in Ken, wow, looks like they're ready to fight. Oh, let's fight. All right. Da -da 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 -da. Uh -huh. Well, that was weird. Who's the winner? I'm the winner because I'm Batman. Oh, get out of here, Batman. All right, next up is Pixel Pal number 18, which is Master Chief from the Halo series. Well, talk about a cool Pixel Pal. Of course, he wasn't around during the 8-bit days, but that doesn't stop him from becoming a Pixel Pal. Boy, they did a great job of bringing him into the 8-bit world. He's got his camouflage uniform and the iconic helmet. Ah, oh, sweet. And even on back, they got the Halo symbol. All right, now let's see this guy glow in the dark. And now Master Chief here becomes our Master Nightlight. <laughs> Boy, does he look super cool. Camouflaged and all. And you can see the full details of his camouflaged outfit a lot better than when the light is off. What a cool looking figure. Expect him to be released in September. Yeah. But that now brings us to Pixel Pal number 19, which is Dragonborn from the Elder Scrolls Skyrim game. Oh, cool. Come on out of there. All right, so here we have Dragonborn. Man, he looks really cool, like a warrior from the past. 
And it looks like he has his super heavy armor on too. If we look at the back of the box, we see, wow, they did a really good job with his design to bring him into a pixelated form. And of course, this dragonborn soldier comes to us from the Elder Scrolls video games. Ha, huh, cool. With a pixel pal looking this cool, I bet he looks super awesome when you turn out the lights and switch him on. Ha, huh, cool. They did a good job on this guy. He looks just like a Viking. He may not be as colorful as someone like uh, Kuma, but if you like Elder Scrolls, then this one is right up your alley. I don't like Elder Scrolls. I don't like anyone. You want to fight about it? Yeah. Guys, guys, let's keep the fights to Street Fighter. <laughs> All right, next up, we have Pixel Pal number 20, which is probably my favorite, Mario from Super Mario World. <laughs> and this guy looks awesome. This version of Super Mario comes to us from the Super Mario World video game for the SNES. <laughs> he looks super cool, too, because it's a pose that he does at the very end of the stage level. Now, we've already gotten three different Mario Pixel Pals already, but this one is by far my favorite because he looks super cool and he's super colorful. In fact, I bet he looks equally as cool in the dark. And he looks absolutely amazing. I just love all the different colors. Although my only complaint is that the black parts of Mario, like his hair and his mustache, aren't as dark as they should be. I wish the black parts on this character were as dark as the other blacks on characters like Mega Man and Luigi. That would made the colors stand out on this character even more. Oh well. Alright, so we have three more Pixel Pals, and with these last three, we're going Street Fighter crazy! <laughs> we have Cammy for Pixel Pal 21, and Bison for Pixel Pal 22, and for Pixel Pal 23, we have Hot Ryu! <laughs> Hot Ryu! Out of all the Street Fighter characters, Cammy was always my favorite! <laughs> so let's open her first! <laughs> and here we have Cammy! And the way they made her pixel form looks really true to her old character. <laughs> Ponytail and all. Look at those big blue eyes. <laughs> Boing. All right, next we have M. Bison, the bad guy in the series. Ooh, look at old Bison here. Boy, looks like he's ready for some major warfare. If you look at his original picture, you can see his ugly mug showing off just how much of a bad guy he really is. <laughs> All right, and the last character we have is Hot Ryu. And he's called Hot Ryu because, um, I think he's hot wearing all those shirts. <laughs> so in this pose, uh, he doesn't have any shirt on. But he comes with his iconic red bandana, and uh, <laughs> look at those pants. Looks like he needs to throw those tattered things away. And if, of course, if we look at the back of the box, yep, he has no shirt in this one either. So they made him really true to the original. Just uh, don't put regular Ryu next to hot Ryu, because uh, the space-time continuum might explode. Hey, what's going on here? You're me, and you're me. <laughs> What the? Oh, great, Scott Marty! We ruined the space-time continuum again! Doc, what are we gonna do about this? Well, in exactly 4.5 seconds, everything should just explode! Ah, jumping gigawatts! Everything just exploded? Bah! Oh, well, anyway, let's just turn out the lights and see how these guys look in the dark. Oh, wow! And all these guys look puppet-tastic! Especially Cammy. All the greens and red on this character look absolutely amazing! And of course, if we put all the Street Fighter characters together, we end up with one really cool Street Fighter display. Now, with all these cool characters, you might be asking yourself, well, what's next for Pixel Pals? And, well, they've got a lot of new characters coming up. And some of these include new superheroes like Superman, Wonder Woman, and The Flash. And the people over at Pixel Pals tell us that there are gonna be all kinds of new characters coming in 2018 that we don't even know about, like exclusives and more. Oh, oh, Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles, be quiet, Sammy Steve, you're gonna get us in trouble. Oh, Ninja Turtles, Leonardo, Sammy Steve, knock it off. Ugh, Spongebob, Sammy Steve, no, what are you doing? Ah! I'm a bullet, time to go. Wait, Mario, come back. Go away, poop face. Ooh, that 8-bit Mario is a jerk, right, Amiibo Mario? That's all right. Time to go. Hey kids, make sure you check out RetroGameTreasure.com, which is a monthly subscription box of brand new video games delivered to your doorstep every month. Hey kids, Lego Puppet Steve and Lego Zombie Steve are here! And you can buy both of these by clicking the link in the description, where you can also find Puppet Steve Fidget Spinners! Make sure to subscribe to our channel, and be sure to check out all our other videos, because they are awesome!